Get that heart rate going and push the pace. Make more of an effort to push hard and jump with some distance. You are performing at the maximum pace. Awesome! Jumping in one general area is not going to challenge you on this exercise. This is an amazing pace that you're setting for yourself. Make sure you're not just jumping in the same spot. Challenge yourself. Jumping in one general area is not going to challenge you on this exercise. Make sure you're not just jumping in the same spot. Challenge yourself. Not bad so far, but you can work it even harder. Let's go. Keep breathing. Pick up the pace to burn even more calories.
let's start off the workout with some warm-ups. This exercise is great for lubricating your shoulders and loosening them up for your exercises. Slowly rotate your arms forward, one at a time, drawing large circles. Take your shoulders through a full range of motion. Incorporate your torso into the movement. Now, reverse the direction and begin making circles backwards. Make sure your arms are rotating in opposition. They should be directly opposite to each other as you rotate. Make sure you extend your arms fully and brush them against your ears each time you rotate. Hip circles are a great method of gently warming up your lower back and hips. Start the movement by drawing a counterclockwise circle with your hips. Move slowly through the movement, exaggerating each circle. Now, reverse the motion and continue the movement clockwise. Keep your chest square and fixed and move at your hips. Breathe normally as you perform this warm-up. Knee tucks is an excellent exercise to warm up your lower back, glutes, and hips. Raise your right knee up towards your chest and use your hands to pull it closer to your body. Slowly lower your leg back to the ground and then raise your left knee. Keep alternating sides until this exercise is over. Don't let your back round when you pull your knees up. Interlock your fingers when you grasp your knee. This mobility exercise opens up your hips, an area that is often quite tight on most people. Start with your left leg forward and your right leg back and lower until both legs form 90 degree angles. At the same time, raise your right arm and lean your torso to the left. Then, stand tall and return to the start position. Now, switch your leg positions and perform the warm-up exercise on the other side. Only work within your own range of motion and hold the stretch briefly. This mobility exercise opens up the hip of the back leg. Make sure you lean your torso. Reach your arm up to stretch your upper back. Let's start the workout today, now that you're all warmed up. Circuit Run. Running is a great way to get the heart rate going, which will help you get ready for any sport. When it's time to run, start running in place. Remember to pump your arms while you're running to help burn off more calories. Be ready to change it up and perform high knees or kick-ups during the run. To perform high knees, drive your knees upwards alternating between your left and right leg. To perform kick-ups, drive your heels back towards your buttocks every time you lift your legs. Make sure to give it your best effort on the run as this will help you succeed in any sports activities that you take on. High knees now. Let's do high knees.
Make sure you pump your arms to help burn off more calories. Focus on landing softly on your feet with each step. Focus on landing softly on your feet with each step. Try to keep focused on your breathing while you're running. You've got no problems keeping up with me on this run. Way to work it. Way to go. That run on the circuit run. Running is a great way to get the heart rate going, which will help you get ready for any sport. When it's time to run, start with Let's Do Fast Kickups. Let's Do Fast Kickups. Remember to keep your shoulders relaxed and your back straight as you run. Make sure you pump your arms to help burn off more calories. You're doing a great job keeping a good pace as my running partner. That was a good run on the trail today. You're a great